All right, day seven. The, the camp is packed up. Have our breakfast, personal hygiene, all that stuff. Truck is all packed and ready to go. So we're on the last leg of our journey. Next, next destination, Freedom, Wyoming and the border with Idaho. Everything so far has been working very well. Uh, we consumed mostly water that uh, we got either from the lake, river or creek. Uh, filter has been doing its job. I suppose nobody got sick. Um, all the equipment is working well, I guess. There's a couple of things that needs to be done to the truck. When we come back, uh, specifically exhaust and just miscellaneous little maintenance items. Um, as far as the gear, we have to solve our recharging electronic uh, a little bit farther because what we have currently is not um, sufficient for our needs. All right. Well, on the road again. Alright, so we passed through Alpine, Wyoming and Etna and we are in Freedom. Freedom, Wyoming. This road divides the two states. So we already been on a border. Right now Mitch is going to air up the tires. The rest of it's going to be all highway back home. And um, this is the end of the journey. Let me get some stats. All right.
right, I'm going to read out from my board computer the stats. And I'm pointing it to the... Okay, so... Recovered total of 1,091 miles. Now, from Riverton to border with Nebraska, it, I think we ha we um, we had about 400. So we're talking about 600 miles. Mostly, I would say 80% of it was off-road. In some places, we just couldn't, um, uh, as it was mentioned in the previous videos, so we couldn't uh, find a road that would uh, that would take us. Um, off-road we had to take the road to go around because of the private lands and um, no access so we we're talking about 600 roughly 600 and back actually almost 700 miles 700 miles uh, with the average speed of 31 miles per hour uh, surprisingly average uh, mileage uh, we got 13.6 miles per gallon going mostly off-road and uh, actually at lower speed even off-road it, it gets better mileage than on the highway at over 50 we used 80 gallons of fuel to the, here to the border of course we still have almost half a state to go home and I probably will uh, uh, get all the, the wrap up from all the stats once we get home for the whole trip. Um, and also the running time for the truck was uh, uh, 34 hours and 49 minutes. And this is almost over for our trip god willing we'll get safe home um so this is again the idaho side and we are on wyoming side so we spent seven days on the road six nights our weather has been just wonderful didn't get a drop of rain except on the first day going through Casper towards the Nebraska border um, the vehicle didn't ha did not have any problems uh, tires held up everything uh, worked as supposed to all the equipment that we put on has been um, holding up very well except that knock uh, that I was uh, covering before of the exhaust. Roof rack is holding up excellent. Um, so there is, uh, when it comes to vehicles, there's just few things that has been learned. Mostly was uh, the things that we would change is uh, our charging for electronics and some of the camping gear some of the stuff that we brought and maybe um, I'll do a separate video on what we bring with us or well, some of it was already in the videos but uh, some of the stuff that we brought really wasn't used it might be used in a longer trip some of the stuff we still will need to acquire one of those we were thinking of getting a gazebo in the places where mosquitoes are intolerable it would be nice to to sit in some kind of netting and have lunch without uh, flopping our hands like birds trying to shoo mosquitoes away Strubi are you happy the trip is over or do you want to continue? Um, I'm kind of happy we're going home you happy what? going home you had enough for for this yep. that time next one we, that's right you got to build up your endurance Mitch what about you you want to continue I don't know, kind of 
kind of had my fill as well. Kind of had enough? Well, next time we'll have, like I said before, we were on a um, very, very reduced food wise, uh, very ascetic. Oh, that was, that huh? I didn't mind that part. You didn't mind that part? Actually, I would have had. I would have had a piece of meat uh, at least a couple of times. It's haying season. Second cutting by now. Huh? I wish I had my lawnmower down. I can go explore some stuff while this is airing up. Yeah. So, Mitch, what was your favorite part of the state that you enjoyed the most? Hmm? Probably the beginning, the grassy area. You did? Probably the most. I think this mountains out here was my favorite. What, Kat? I liked the first day. The, the first day house. too? The grassy area? Yeah. Really? Huh. Well, everybody has their preferences. I guess because there was no mosquitoes over there, is that the reason? Or you just overall like it out there? No, I prefer, I prefer trees and streams and mountains. Well, this little compressor that we're using to air up, besides taking longer than we would like, also has a problem in the summertime overheating. Uh, we have a spare one, so Mitch is going to switch right now on the second one. But uh, for the long, I guess the, the one more thing that we need to, I need to uh, figure out for the vehicle to install onboard si uh, air system. Most likely, I'm going to go with uh, the compressor and uh, and a tank. I will tuck it away where the spare tire used to be here in the rear, under it. There's plenty of space. And um, so next time we out here, it will take a fraction of the time that it takes now to air up. So a couple of facts about Freedom, Wyoming. The reason it was established right here on the border in 1879 was because uh, Wyoming did not have um, a law against polygamy, and Idaho did. So the polygamists that... Uh, Established the town could just walk over the, uh, the the road and that way not to get prosecuted So that's um, it, at some point it was actually in this star star valley. It was the first uh, Town that was uh, settled at some at, at, at one point. It was the biggest town in the whole valley uh, Now it's kind of dwindled down. There's population is a hundred so it's one of those, it's probably will never die off um, completely because there's a lot of agriculture out here which uh, keeps people employed and busy. Anyway, that's Freedom, Wyoming. Well, we are about two and a half hours away from home, up in Wind River Mountains, back to our playground. Uh, made a little pit stop here and the weather finally caught up with us and uh, actually it's pretty good probably <laughs> wash will wash the truck a little bit because it's all dusty